Hello, I'm Martin Avanes, Director of Product Management, covering various product areas, including Core SQL, database, security, and governance. From day one, security and securely governing data have been a top priority for us. And I'm excited to show you our latest edition, Dynamic Data Masking, now available in private preview. In this demo, I will show you how to obscure sensitive PII and PHI data from users and roles using our new flexible and expressive policy language. The demo data set we are using today has several fields with clients' personally identifiable information, the last name, email address, and street address. As you can see, our data analyst Alice can currently see all of the client PI data. We want to introduce a new security policy to hide the data in these fields from her, since she doesn't need these details to complete her job. Let's switch over to our policy admin role. As the data steward and policy admin at my organization, it's my responsibility to make sure our client's data is secured and only the users that absolutely need to see that information have access to it. I will use the new first class policy object to achieve this goal. To protect our client's data, I want to determine which groups of internal users need to see which data. The first group is our client manager, Bob, who needs to have full visibility into our client's details. He's part of the authorized PII role group. And secondly, we have our data analyst team, of which Alice is a member. She doesn't need to see all of the client's information, but it's helpful if she can see their email domain. So instead of masking the entire field, we can create partial masking policy for her using a regex expression. And finally, by default, all other roles will have all the fields completely masked. Next, we attach the masking policy for the last name and street address to those columns. And we attach the partial masking policy to the email address column in our table. To confirm our policies have been correctly associated, we create a new information schema view. We can see the name of the masking policy, the database schema, and column where it applies. And that's it. We secured our client's PI data from unauthorized users while maintaining access for authorized users. Let's switch over to Alice, our data analyst, to see how the data masking applies to her role. When Alice tries to execute the same query against this client table, she now sees the last name and street address fields completely masked, and the email address is partially masked. If she attempts to circumvent the masking by using an email address in a WHERE clause, the query returns with no records found. This protects the PI data by assuring that she is unable to determine whether this email address exists or not. If she further attempts to circumvent using a join clause, same result. While such records could exist in the dataset, they cannot be retrieved. Finally, if she attempts to create a new table using Snowflake's popular zero copy cloning feature, we can see that the new table is still masked, correctly applying our policies. The policy moves with the cloned object. Now, if we switch over to Bob, our client manager, who is authorized to see client PI data, we query the table and confirm that he's able to see all the fields as intended. Because our new policy language is flexible and expressive, the policy admin can create different levels of masking for each set of users. In addition to the full and partial masking we just created, we also have the ability to mask by returning nulls for unauthorized users, replace data with SHA2 and SHA4 hash values, or even use complex user-defined functions for masking. Masking can also be applied to specific nested fields stored within Snowflake's variant data type for semi structured data. And lastly, if you have custom entitlement tables set up, you can use those to dynamically set the masking policies for fields. Our masking policy framework extends outside of your Snowflake data as well. If you're accessing data stored in external tables, for example, log files with IP addresses, you can apply complex masking policies to hide exact fields. It also seamlessly works with our data sharing functionality. If you're a data provider or consumer through the Snowflake Data Marketplace or private data exchange, you can also mask data dynamically. For that purpose, we are introducing a new function which identifies the users who are invoking the share. This allows data providers to create specific data masking policies for each data consumer. 
Dynamic data masking is a comprehensive capability integrated seamlessly across all of Snowflake. Every year you expect it to work, it does. We're excited to hear your feedback and how much time it will save you implementing your security, governance, and policy strategies.